Did you know your thoughts actually leave your brain? I know you probably like how, but this is something that you knew, you just didn't know you knew. What you see on this man's head right here are called electrodes. Electrodes are used in EEGs to determine brain activity. If you didn't know, your thoughts are electrical impulses from one nerve to the next, and these electrodes pick up those electrical signals and send them to the computer and document the brain activity. Once the data reaches the computer, it'll look something like this. Now to somebody who's unfamiliar with this science might look at this and say, what the fuck am I looking at? But for somebody who's experienced in this field or an artificial intelligent computer will be able to look at this and determine exactly what's going on. Now the reason this is so important is because even when those electrodes aren't attached to your head, your thoughts are leaving your vessel. Now remember, your thoughts are electrical and the earth has its own electromagnetic field. So when your thoughts leave out of your body, they entangle with the earth's atmosphere. Now, when people say the idea just came to me, now you have a better understanding why we are all connected. Okay, and what about the people that you come into contact with every day who may be constantly projecting negative thoughts? This is where terms like I'm getting bad vibes comes from because you're literally picking up on somebody's electrical frequency. In spirituality, we call it aura. In science, they call it a biofield. Look it up. A large field of energy that surrounds and extends out from the body about eight feet. Trust your instinct. Here's a scientific representation of the biofield. It looks exactly like the Earth's biofield. Now, before I show you this scientific video proving what I'm saying, I got one more thing for you. This is why meditation is everything. Because if you cannot get control of your thoughts, you will not be able to control your reality. Everything that you think gets entangled into the universe, whether it be positive or negative. You have to be able to consciously sit down and train your mind to think positive thoughts. But in order to do that, you have to focus on your breathing and shut your eyes off so you aren't being stimulated by the outside world and you can go within. It is possible to reconstruct faces and uh, it took me some time. I don't believe actually that it is possible, but the fact is, yes, it is possible. Yes. Wired up to an EEG, participants like Tyler here looked at a collection of faces for two hours. This is a look at his brain activity. In this are bits of information about the faces that he's seeing. Exactly. Why more face? Researchers fed thousands of pictures into machine learning software. As participants did the experiment, the software began linking facial features to brain activity. And you can reconstruct a picture from this? Yes, correct. After processing the data, researchers showed participants a reconstructed photo. So just so I'm clear, so from Tyler's brain activity, you guys came up with this photo. Yes. And yes. Tyler, you recognize it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 